Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video, we're gonna talk about some of our favorite mid handicapper irons for the 2024 season. So there are an absolute ton of irons that we could include in here, but we've got five of our favorites that we've tested, that we've reviewed, and that we've used out on the golf course so far in the last sort of 12 months, really. Some of these irons have released this year. Some of these are carryovers from 2023. So some of these irons you'll have seen last season as well. Some of the ones that I've used out on the golf course, some that have impressed me over the last 12 months are these five that we've got. So we'll start with the new Wilson Dyna Power Forged. So Dyna Power Forged is a replacement really for the D9 Forge, which has been in the Wilson lineup for the last few years. Really, really good iron. We've done lots of fittings with this as well here at the golf club. It looks great. It sits really nice behind the ball. It's got that nice sleek kind of look to it as it sits in that playing position. Doesn't look big and chunky, but still packed with technology. I've got the eight iron here, which you can see that nice clean sort of look to the sole. But as we get longer in these golf clubs, we see some of that Wilson technology and that power hole in the bottom there. So we've got that extra flexion in the face when we hit it low, particularly on the club face, which a lot of people do. So it allows us to maintain ball speeds on those off center strikes. They look great behind the ball. They're easy to hit. And my God, do they go a long way for a forged iron in a really compact chassis like this. So we've obviously reviewed them here on the channel. We put them up against the staff model CB and Blade as well and we're very very impressed with how these perform so these should be basically one of the irons you're looking for if you're looking to replace an iron this year and you are in that kind of mid handicap bracket and when we're talking about that it's anything from kind of high single figures to about high teens really so it's quite all encompassing in there it's probably most of the golf industry really in that handicap bracket but these are definitely an iron you should look at sounds very different much more hollow sound to it now very easy to get the ball in the air that's launched extremely high but we're still seeing really good distance so that one's gone it's carried 190 yards with the seven iron which um yeah i'd be very very happy with if we look at the new dyna power forge we can see 192 and a half yards as an average in terms of the carry distance with the seven iron now that is a long way i would say normally if i was swinging really really nicely around 180 yards carry is kind of what I expect from a seven iron if I, if I hit a good one. Next on our list is from Srixen and it's the ZX5 Mark II iron. Now, those of you that have never hit a Srixen iron before, get out there and try them. They are immense, honestly literally in every iron category we could include a strix and iron because all the way from the the forged kind of bladed model into zx7 5 and 4 we've got irons there that suit every handicap category and in terms of the kind of build quality and performance Srixen are really up there in the upper echelons of iron design and technology and also performance and certainly whenever we've tried Srixen over the last few kind of models and, and iterations of the ZX family I've been really really impressed ZX5 is one that I was probably the most impressed with throughout their entire iron range because it really suits quite a vast array of handicappers we can see this kind of dual sole design that we've got on here so in terms of how it goes through the turf tricks and really think about how these irons are going to be used by most players out there you know a lot we've got a, a bit more width in the sole a lot of players tend to kind of scoop their irons don't hit down on them enough we've got that added sort of bounce in here as well for, so for those players who it's maybe not a thought of yours when you're playing iron shots but those of you that do hit quite steep which most players out there do these are going to help you and really suit you these and zx4 if you're that slightly higher handicapper and need a bit more forgiveness kind of crosses over and also with the zx family combo in sets is quite easy too so if you are that player who needs a little bit of help in the long irons and then maybe want something like zx7 in your short irons they blend pretty seamlessly throughout so uh, ZX5 is an iron that does have some forgiveness in it. We've got the mainframe technology in here to really maximize ball speed in terms of its looks in that address position, a nice sleek top line. As I've said, slightly wider sole. So for that player who needs that little bit more launch and elevation, it's in there. And trust me, when you actually hit these, the sound and 
the speed that the ball comes off the face is extremely impressive. And it's not just with ZX5s all the way through the iron range as well. So Srixen definitely needs to be on your list. Right hand side of the green, I think. Just hit four shots, one with each iron from 200 yards to the flag. Yes, it's downhill a little bit. Yes, it's downwind a little bit, but all of them are landing back of the green. So sort of 20 yards past the flag, 220 carry. Yes, downhill, downwind, but that's very, very powerful. So let's have a bit of a look and see how all of these irons compared when we hit them on the Trackman. We've hit them out on the golf course. They all feel great. If I'm gonna pick one that's kind of my favorite at the moment, it'd be the ZX5 Mark II, to be honest. It's just a little bit more playable and easy to hit straight for me. But let's have a bit of a look at the numbers. We can see that um, ZX5 Mark II was the highest at 120 feet. If we look at the spin that we're seeing there, so nearly 5,300 with, with ZX4 Mark II, all the way up to the highest spin in which for me was ZX5 Mark II, which when we look at the where the shots are landing and the, and the kind of dispersion that we're seeing there, you can see with all of them that Strangely, that ZX5 Mark II is also the tightest dispersion. Next is the brand new Ping i530 iron. So this is just new to the market. It's one that we've done a review of on the Golf Shake channel, so you can check that out as well. Um, it looks absolutely fantastic behind the ball, really that nice compact look. We've obviously got that kind of um, enclosed cavity in the head there. So we do have plenty of weight in there, nice wide sole to really help you get it in the air. So for those players who struggle with that launch, but it's absolutely packed with power as well. So this is an iron that is gonna offer that distance, but with that forged feel and that kind of quality that you would expect from a ping iron. So this is gonna suit uh, quite a wide range of handicap. Like I've said, all the way from kind of mid single figures up to sort of mid teens, even up to sort of 20 handicap, depending on how good a ball strike you are but it's definitely easier to launch and looks a lot nicer than kind of the the next iron up in the ping range being sort of g430 really so it's that players look uh, that we all really like but also the performance of maybe a slightly more kind of forgiving iron in there as well so we had to put the new i530 in our list couldn't have a mid handicappers list without including TaylorMade P790. It's been a mainstay in probably all of our kind of mid handicap reviews over the last few years. Extremely popular iron. This is about the third or fourth generation of it now that we have and you know it just continues to get better and better. So TaylorMade really pack this with technology. Again this iron looks great. It's very powerful. So for those players who hit the ball very high and spin it a lot this could be really good for you because it does bring ball flight down. It does take some of the spin off if you're that player who struggles to launch it and struggles to stop it on the green maybe won't suit you as well but it's definitely an iron that for many mid handicappers particularly those who hit across the ball a lot and create lots of spin and launch p790 can really take care of that for you obviously you need to go get fitted properly for it but you know with the speed foam injected in the head we get that great feel that we associate with tailor-made irons we've also got fantastic technology in there with the weighting and the tungsten in the head to make sure that there's forgiveness all the way around the face because let's face it a lot of us in this handicap category aren't going to hit the middle of the face all the time but p790 has you covered So last on our list, but by no means least, is the Cobra Forge Tech Iron. Again, this is an iron that has had various different iterations. It's improved throughout its life cycle. They're a little bit bigger now than they used to be, so probably have edged into that kind of mid handicap bracket a little more than they certainly used to, but masses of forgiveness, really good kind of power and ball speed off the face. And certainly when we, we reviewed it, the, uh, the numbers were absolutely amazing as well. We were getting seven irons kind of regularly over 200 yards during the test, which was unbelievable. Uh, they are strong, they are easy to use. They do launch the ball quite easily. But for those of you that are kind of strong um, swingers and strong ball flight players, these are gonna offer you a little bit more distance, but probably a little bit more forgiveness too. Certainly what I've seen when I've tested them here is that 
the distance is, there's, there's quite a difference there. Because the spin is lower in Forge Tech X, when I've tested it, we can see there's a difference in the carry. So we've gone from just short of 186 with Forge Tech to about 194 with Forge Tech X, which is quite a big jump, really. So there we have it, that's five of our favorite irons that we've tested and five that are on the market now in 2024. So these are all irons you can go and get properly custom fitted for, make sure you try them out, but you will not be disappointed with any of the ones in this list. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Please keep watching all of our content here on the channel to help you play more and play better, and we'll see you all very soon.